Slide, the voice of Nassau Community College, 90.3 WHPC. I'm Mark from Floral Park, and we've got the man who is the lead vocalist and guitar player and principal songwriter from the band Vedras on the phone now. And right in line with those whose first name is that of one of our 50 states, like Tennessee Williams and Indiana Jones, here now, Colorado Romas. And that's Colorado with a K, as it's spelled in Lithuanian. Welcome to Lithuanian Landside, Rome. Thank you, or Achu, so much for taking the time to call in. Oh, thank you for having me, Mark. I never thought that way about my stage name, but now I have an explanation for English speakers, the origin of my stage name. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I kind of I wanted to say that for the longest time, uh, so I'm, I'm glad you appreciate it. Romay, let's kick right in. Uh, Romay, your band Vedras, or Bucket, which is included in the Lithuanian Rock Encyclopedia, was active in the late 80s in Lithuania when other bands like Antis, Foye, and Bix were writing songs that touched on topics that were forbidden at that time due to being under Soviet rule. Some of the songs that you wrote specifically were about drug addiction, broken homes, and government indifference. Please share your memories of what many of us here now in America feel must have been certainly a compelling time to be a young active musician in Lithuania and writing songs that were a bit dangerous. Yes, Antis, well, yeah, Biggs, they were, they were big bands. You know, Biedras never made that far. Uh, we didn't have neither money nor connection to to go on the big stages. But we have a reel-to-reel tape recorder, and we recorded our songs. So did you ever play live out in in Lithuania at that time? You know, to be honest, I played in uh, like three or four times. Uh, so uh, th- there was a competition once mm-hmm. uh, in Key, I believe. Um, and then we have to actually, uh, we have to, came up with a different name because Viedras is it's not proper Lithuanian uh, name. Viedras is a slang uh, that I will uh, uh, explain a little bit later. But uh, we had to come up with a n- new name right on the spot. And, and we call ourselves Tessia. So we call it Tessia on only one show. And for the rest of it, Rest of the shows we stayed as Vedras. You know? So, can you tell us how did you come up with the name Vedras, though? <laughs> Believe me or not, Mark, but that, that has something to do with the steel wall. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> back then, back then, we have a rumors that somewhere in America we have a Lithuanian rock band steel wall. And it sounded so awesome. We actually translated. You're, you're, bit, you're uh, yanking uh, my chain, man. Come on, <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. We called you Gelezinis Vilka. <laughs> and you know, Gelezinis Vilka is metal. Yeah. It's heavy. Yeah. And, uh, and I said, you know what? I have to come up with some name that is metal. <laughs> and what is metal? <laughs> it's not that heavy. <laughs> the metal is the other. You know, no, no, <laughs> no one's going to believe that. I mean, no, they're going to go, oh, get out. Like, yeah, uh, everyone listening is going to think you and I are in cahoots. And uh, <laughs> I swear, Mark, I swear to God, I know. no, this is the truth. I know, and this is the look. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I, I'm, I I'm, I'm, I'm you. So That's gl- why I'm so, almost holding to that. <laughs> I'm so glad you did that. That's was- <laughs> <It's> amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, uh, I want to sing uh, in, in my dialect. I'm Zukas. I'm from South Lithuania. Right. So I want to sing in a dialect, and, and the name has to be also in a dialect. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So uh, uh, the other sort of bucket is was uh, I mean, metal enough, but it also has another hidden secret oh. in the name. You right. know, when I when I grew up, there was no running water, no sewage. So very often neighbors dump their waste uh, wastewater right on the street okay? uh-huh. or, or, or in, in a little ditch. 
And uh, so sometimes it was uh, like felt like a felt, okay, more 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 than waste. It was like a felt. So I was gonna collect that all this felt from the surrounding society and just dump on everybody's head, oh. so they can wake <laughs> up. That was the main. <laughs> I love the, it. The hidden pure purpose behind the name. Uh, a wake up call, but but with, with but with uh, with water or wastewater. <laughs> wastewater on my head, right on my head. You know, we got tired of listening to songs about you know love, birds, and lakes. And, <laughs> I can, you know, I, so we said, <laughs> well, I can relate you to that. Have something different. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. That is what a great story. Now. When the Cold War ended, Vedras disbanded, and you came to the United States to begin a new life. So please share with our audience uh, what it felt like uh, when Lithuania finally declared its independence and became free in 1990. Well, well, when Lithuania declared independence on March 18, 11, I'm sorry, um, I was still in Lithuania, and I was holding my little daughter in my hands, and watching TV and I was crying. Uh, uh, seriously, I was crying. I was so touched. However, mm. I really did not believe that it's going to last. Okay? And um, I arrived uh, to, during those days, during the summer, I arrived to the United States. I still came, o- came over with a USSR p- passport. You know, I didn't have any Lithuanian passport. I still have a ticket back with IRA flood, but I think it's expired now. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I was going to pull a leg down there and go to the airport to get a USSR passport and a ticket. And, a, and I will say, oh, I'm a little bit late. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, anyway, I, I knew that, um, that um, the, the, the true independence is going to be a long way, just like ACDC song, long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, so I, I'm real glad that I was wrong. I, I, I'm glad that I was wrong and the independence lasted and, and Lithuania is independent for already over 30 years. And, and Romay, what brought you to Colorado? <laughs> That's a long story. That's another a subject for a new okay. uh, book, for new plan. But anyway, if I want a joke, but I usually do, as you probably can say, if I want a joke, <laughs> I say, I say, uh, I just jumped out of parachute and, and I end up in Colorado. Oh, okay. <laughs> like a like a hypothetical parachute, like so to speak. Like a hypothetical parachute. But uh, I love to it. be uh, <laughs> to be real, um, I actually I I brought my father to see his brother uh, that they haven't seen each other for thirty nine years after World War Two. So. Um, that was a little town called uh, Loveland, beautiful, lovely name, Loveland, Colorado. That's why I started my life in the United States. What, what is there a Lithuanian community in, in, in your end of Colorado? Hey, when I came in 1990, I didn't even know that any Lithuanian community exists. I went to downtown um, Denver and asked... Uh, in the information center, whether we have any Lithuanian community here. And of course, that lady that was sitting there, she asked, uh, what is Lithuania? Okay. So I, I I figured, you know, there is no Lithuanians around, so I'm probably all by myself. Right, right. Uh, and uh, But that was not true. So I started playing in a, in a country band, they, even before I started speaking English. That's kind of funny. Oh, wow. But, uh, uh, but later on, I brought this, I, I found the Lithuanian community. There was not a big community, but uh, a few, less than 100 people. And uh, since I was already playing in a country band, I brought that country band in Lithuanian community. And I made them follow my chords. And I was singing in Lithuanian, mm-hmm. and the country band was playing for oh, me. Oh wow! You know? <laughs> That's amazing. So it was like an it was like an it was an, an American country band, except you were singing in Lithuanian. <laughs> Correct. And as a matter of fact, you know those three five chord songs. It doesn't really matter what no. language. You know they, they still can do that. That's amazing. If you have you visited Lithuania since you left? I visited Homeland maybe five six times. Hey, it's about time to go back, you know, because it's been already nine years 
But uh, I have so many activities here in the U.S. that I don't have enough vacation time <laughs> to fly back to Lithuania every year, that. like some of my <laughs> uh, friends do. So your 1995 solo album, which was the first U.S. compact disc of Lithuanian songs for children, contains the title track, which many say is the definitive version of the song Isheo Tavalis i Mishka, uh, almost still 30 years after its release. So what influenced you at the time of, to make that album? You know, Mark, <clears throat> I never meant to release those songs as a CD. Okay? These songs are recorded for my daughter, Urte. I noticed that she does not know any Lithuanian children's songs. And in Lithuania, everybody sings, and children, they all know these common um, sing-alongs, okay? So I recorded that uh, on <laughs> my first task cam for track recorder, just like Bill did, you know? Right, right. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I always, uh, uh, dedicated that uh, those songs, not dedicated, like recorded for my daughter, but during the recording, I was thinking, okay, how many Lithuanian families are in a situation like me. Mm -hmm. They came mm -hmm. over here, you know, and they don't know, they don't uh, usually sing to children, and they don't have anything to play as well. I mean, that that uh, in Mishka is not really high quality of recording, but oh. it, it got me. It it got me started, man. It got me started. Listen, I, I I I I disagree. I think it's amazing. Romai, once you were settled in Colorado, one of your projects in the mid-90s was the re-recording uh, of the Vedras songs, uh, some of them even in English, on the album Born in Las Die, which received airplay here in the States and abroad in Lithuania. Uh, famously, Vitotas uh, Kernagas, who we just played before you called in, uh, gave a review of Vedras' sound. Could you share that story with us? Yes, uh, Vitotas Kernagas and I in the last years of his life, we're, we're quite, quite close. Vedra's music was um, too heavy for him. I mean, you know, he's a, he's a showman. He was going more to either ballads or pop. He was, it was too metal for him. But the name the ne of my next project, Colorado Valley, sure influenced uh, by Vito Toskernagi's hit. You know the the name is catchy, so yeah, it's easier to remember as you you know you 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 pronounce it right or yourself. <laughs> okay, I, I try. <laughs> Roma, I thank you so much for being a part of Lithuanian Landslide. Uh, before we wrap things up, please tell our listeners uh, where they can learn more about you. Oh, thank you, thank you, uh, Mark. They can visit my website at coloradoromas.com with K, as you mentioned before. Thanks so much once again, Colorado Romas, for taking time out to call our show.